pH of kombucha. Many people have been asking, what is the best pH level for kombucha tea? Well, it's a combination of personal preference and personal safety, okay? So, when you brew kombucha, when you first make your kombucha tea using a kombucha tea recipe, you are starting with mostly, we recommend you know 80 to 90 percent regular sweet tea, which um, has a pH level way higher than the end result of kombucha. This is why we add that starter tea, that kombucha starter tea, to your initial brew. Why? Because if you left regular tea, just sweet tea, out at room temperature, guess what's going to happen? Right, you're going to get mold, you're going to get pathogens, it's not going to be pretty. There's a reason why we refrigerate food or we you know, have it on a chafing dish, you know, heated up, warmed, or like a crock pot or something. It's the acidity level that initially helps preserve your kombucha tea. Now, there's other things later on, um, like um, the introduction of CO2, which helps preserve your kombucha tea, especially when you go to bottle it. But initially, it's really that pH level. So a good thing to do is not just test your pH when you go to bottle or when you go to consume and drink, but test that pH when you initially make your kombucha tea. When you go to bottle, a good pH level would be anywhere from 3.3, 3.4, um, down to 2.9. Now, I, you know, the, getting to the tenths of a degree, like a three point something, you would probably need to use a more accurate measure, measurement than just those um, pH strips. Um, you know, things like a digital pH tester. Once you begin brewing though, you could, I do, I'm not saying this is the best way, but for my own personal consumption, if you're selling kombucha, you should be testing it. But for your own personal consumption, you know, simply tasting it, and does it have that bite reminiscent of apple cider? If it tastes kind of like apple cider, you're looking at a pH of around three. Something also to consider is when you bottle your kombucha, you leave it at room temperature, it will continue. Even though it's capped, there's still going to be some more fermentation happening, which means that your pH level will continue to go down. So, one way to do this is to bottle your kombucha tea at a slightly sweeter, slightly higher pH level, certainly nothing um, above 4.0, right? But something a little higher, so a 3.5 versus a 2.9, so that when you go to bottle it, it continues to ferment to get that CO2 to build up, and the pH level when you go to consume will still be enjoyable and will be safe to drink. To get even more free kombucha videos to take your kombucha brewing to the next level, check out getkombucha.com backslash free.